Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Benizamaki Zamakri of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. And uh, this morning I'd like to capture my thoughts with the word mirror, 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 mirror. You know, when we're kids, we, we, we read the fairy tale, I mean, Snow White and, uh, you know, and all those other things, you know. So anytime they tell her, you are not the prettiest, you're not the most beautiful in the land, she gets insane and she gets jealous and she gets angry and she pursues Snow White to destroy Snow White by virtue of what the mirror was saying. So the mirror was telling her a truth and that truth that she was hearing from the mirror, she can't handle it. And she couldn't say now, ah, there's somebody much more beautiful than me. Mirror, mirror. But you know one thing, one powerful scripture that I have read is the book of James chapter one. And when he says, James chapter one, 23, when he says the Bible, or the word of God is like a mirror to us. And what that word does is that it gives us a, a, a chance to examine ourselves and to see ourselves and to look at ourselves and see who we really are and where we are at and how we stand. So the Bible, you see, the, 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 the reading of the Bible or the, uh, or the Bible throws light on us. The Bible shows us who we really are. So the preaching of the word brings a revelation to us. It, it lightens up our atmosphere. It lightens up our way for us to see who we are. And then the Bible said, James said, when we look into the mirror, we see the cracks, we see the faults, we see the warts, we see the, you know, the disease places of our, of our lives. And then he says, that gives, becomes an incentive for us to go and make changes. So the Bible becomes a source of, of, of transformation. God's word becomes a source of transformation. So God's word, first of all, shows us who we really are. And in knowing who we really are, then we begin to yearn and thirst and desire changes. If we look into, into the mirror and we forget who we are and walk away, then who are we? So God's word is a mirror. And that mirror gives you an insight into who you are. You see yourself as you are. And you see yourself in God's light. And then if there are changes you need to make, or amendments to make, or certain things you need to, then allow the Holy Ghost, act with grace, ask God for the grace to make those changes. But if, if we stay, so sometimes I get, I, get, I get confused. The preaching of the word is supposed to bring transformation. This preaching of the word is not supposed to be a, a, a distant and a dice in pleasant platitudes. It's not supposed to be a, 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 an adventure in pleasant platitudes. No. But the preaching of the word is supposed to put a mirror in front of us for us to see who we are and then to begin to make changes. So the Bible makes demands on us. God's word makes demands on us for transformation. Mirror, mirror. Who is the fairest? Mirror, mirror, how do I look? And what can I do to make changes in my life? You know what? You can stand in front of the mirror and go forgetting who you are or how you look like. Or you become an object of public ridicule. If not an object of public ridicule, you can also become an object of public opprobrium. People will be upset with you. Because the character traits you exhibit, you may have looked in the word, you may have looked in God's word and never refuse to see who you really are. Mirror, mirror, who am I? How do I look? The choice is yours. See you later.